Hi, this is Sal. I'm working as a personal trainer in a city and one of the things I do is metabolic testing. What is it and how does it work? The first test you're seeing is an RMR test, a resting metabolic rate test. What this works out is exactly how many calories your body needs just to maintain its basic functions. Additionally to this, we can break down the calories and find out what percentage comes from fat or sugars. And that's why certain diets like the Atkins diet work for some, but not for others. Okay, how's this worked out? Well, we're using a state-of-the-art New Leaf VO2 gas analyzing unit. What this unit does is measure the oxygen we're breathing in and the carbon dioxide we're breathing out. Now, the relationship between those gases determine what fuel source we're using at any given heart rate and further breaks that down into fat or sugar. Now the second test you're seeing here is called the exercise test. And we can find out a variety of things about your metabolism. One being your fat burning zone. In other words, where you most efficiently burn fat in relation to your heart rate. Most people believe the harder they work, the more fat they're gonna burn. Unfortunately, in the majority of cases, this does not work. Your body actually will stop burning fat at a certain heart rate and will adapt and burn sugar only. Additionally, we can find out your anaerobic threshold. This is the point where we go from being aerobic to anaerobic. This is a vital piece of information for any endurance athlete who wants to get fitter by doing interval training. Lastly, we have the VO2 max test. This can take us to maximal effort and is regarded in the industry as a gold standard of fitness testing. Any questions, feel free to ask.